What's up guys, welcome back to Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke. Last episode, we got the Hero Sigil. Uh, today we are going to be making our way to Scatter Town. We're two, ski we're two sigils down. Uh, I believe it's, what, two more to go, and then the fifth sigil, if that counts as a sigil. But for now, we're going to be underground, underwater, whatever it's called, and making our way. And I, yeah, there are some trainers we're going to be forced to fight, as usual. I should really, like, do some kind of grinding to get on par. But, like, at this point, grinding sucks. Like, ever, basically, since the Elite Four, grinding has been horrible. And takes a really long time. So, I get lazy. And I can only speed up the game about eight times what it is. And even then, it's really slow. It's not that fast. So, it's not fun doing the grinding at all. And since we, like, since it's randomized, and with our, and our luck, we run into nothing but base form mons while we grind, so we get zero experience, it just does not help. So, it's unfortunate, but we're gonna have to do some kind of grinding soon. I think the one bright side, one bright side about being off of, or being in school, is that um, my schedule tends to be one, one video every other day. And then that gives me two days to grind, at least. Like, it gives me the free day to grind, and it gives me um, the day I'm uploading the video to grind. So, I'll probably be able to start doing that. But for now, I need a super repel. And I'm going to avoid these trainers because I'm stupid and don't know how to be willing to spend a video just fighting trainers because I don't want to risk it to death. But then I end up fighting the trainers I'm forced to fight. And still continue to be super under level. Like Squirtle, I can I can handle that. I'm gonna go into Soda Pop. Soda Pop can handle that. Iron Defense, please. And Leaf Storm you. My boy. But yeah, I definitely need to do some grinding. So we will definitely do that. A Garchomp, wow. Garchomp, I can't fight Dragon types. I have zero Ice types, but Garchomp is literally like. Garchomp is basically the scariest out of, like, out of all the pseudos, to me, Garchomp's the scariest to fight. Because Garchomp does damage. What can the EQ do? Wow, an EQ does nothing. Isn't that great, guys? What does a Leaf Storm do? Dragon Claw's gonna hurt. Okay, yeah, alright. Oh, thank god for crits. Oh my god. Alright, well, okay. Perfect. Hoot hoot. Alright, I can handle that. Freedom, if you would please. But yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, uh, Garchomp's my favorite pseudo legendary, and he's also, to me, the scariest to fight. Um, at, at least at least out of the pseudo legendaries that are dragon types, he's the scariest to fight. Um, I'll be honest, Titar isn't that scary when you have a fighting type. Metagross is scary when your only fighting type, where your only fire, fire type is a fighting type. Because I know, like, I know they usually have like Zen Headbutt at this point in the game um, or like just any psychic type move um, and they usually have Earthquake too so that's also kind of spooks it also probably doesn't help that my only fu okay why do you have psychic alrighty whatever but like it also doesn't help that my only fire type move right now is Flare Blitz hello god welcome back he's back in the fray um, Soda Pop Thank you for having me handle this. All right, hello. Yeah, hi, God. How are you doing? Parasong. Wow, I can't wait. Okay, well, I'm getting out of here. I'm skedaddling. Checkmate. Time to skedaddle. Future Sight. Wow, you are full of interesting moves. Recover. All right. This trainer's probably going to withdraw their mon right now. So, yeah. All right. Into a shell gone. Wow, I can't wait. Took the Future Sight to tag and failed. Because I'm a dark type. Dragon Claw, eat that up. But yeah, so. Um, actually, the good question of the day is, what is your favorite pseudo-type? Or pseudo-legendary? Because right now, definitely, definitely my favorite. For now, now and forever, will probably always be Garchomp. Because Fort Gen, to me, Fort Gen, um, brought some of the best mods ever. And I know that I know that my opinion, or like uh, this, the fourth gen being like, I think I think fourth gen is one of the more popular uh, generations. 
I know a lot of people do like it, and a lot it's a it's a lot of people's favorites. Um, other than like Gen 1 usually. I think Gen 1, I feel like Gen 1, 3, and 4 are like some of the more popular generations. The Gen Gen 1, obviously, because like there's a large amount of Gen 1ers in the world. Um, some more vocal about their opinions than others, but I mean it happens, am I right? But yeah, so I personally don't have a problem with Gen 1, because I mean if there was no Gen 1, there would be no Pokemon. So and I understand the whole nostalgia idea of um, like, oh, it's so great because it's like the original. I understand that idea. I, 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 I remember, I understand like, I understand the, the mindset. And it's like, I don't, I don't get, like, I don't think that every person who likes Gen 1 is like, oh my god, you're a Gen 1 or get away from me. But what the ones I don't like are the ones who make the claims of like, nothing's good at nothing after gen 1 is good because like you can't tell you can't sit there and play half the games like oh you can i mean again i'm gonna say like you can you can play uh you can play gen 5 and absolutely hate it and i would be like yeah man it fucking sucks it's the worst game ever and like i would agree with that but again that's my opinion everyone there's a lot of people i know that like gen 5 i'm just not one of those people because it makes me want to like physically just vomit all of my insides and that, that's just all, like, a personal grudge. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Do you have Focus Blast? Do you learn a Fighting-type move by level up? You, you got Memento, alright. Whatever, man. Okay. Uh, you have a Duat, alright. Going to Clint, or not Clint, Soda Pop. But yeah, so, I mean, um, like, I, I understand everyone has, like, everyone has their opinion. I'm perfectly fine with that, but like when you're gonna sit there and try to say like no generation after Gen One's good and like that they have no originality and like there's no original Pokemon games after Gen One, like um, after Gen One, like you can't say that. Like Gen Two, like and then there's all right. I was scared of my game grass for a second. Uh, like there are the Gen Oneers that are like Gen One and Two are good. Then there's the ones like Gen Two like was okay but still no like still horrible compared to gen 1 it's like okay i again opinions okay but then they're the ones who are like oh my god they have a penguin pokemon that's so they're losing their originality it's like you have a literal you, you have a literal magnet you fucking idiot and again like <laughs> my animosity towards gen 1ers is specifically due to the ones that like and and i understand the i understand like that's not a majority of Gen 1ers. It's just the vocal minority. And every... Oh, god damn it. Alright, well... Of course. And like... Okay, fucking Reggie Gigas. You got slow start. Fuck you. But anywho, yeah. Um, I understand, like... I understand that every... Basically, every... Every group of people has the vocal minority, where the ones that speak their minds the most tend to be the ones that are, make the entire group itself look bad. It happens. It's on YouTube. Look at that. I mean, you've got jackasses who do something stupid, and then everyone everyone around the world's like, oh, YouTubers are fucking horrible. It's like, no, leave us out of this. There are idiots, yes. And then it's the same, it's the same with literally everything. So, I mean, Gen 1ers, the vocal minorities are annoying shitheads. I understand that. Um, but again, like they have their opinions, and I'll, I respect their opinions. But I don't respect is the fact that they try to say like that your opinion is wrong, or they constantly are just like, "Wow, everything's unoriginal." It's like you can't tell me you look at like again. This is gonna sound biased. You can't tell me you look at a majority of the Gen Four Pokemon, for example, and say they're unoriginal. Electrovire? How is that unoriginal? Like Infernape? Come on. Soda Pop, Soda Pop's a Torterra. He's literally a turtle with a, like, earth. Like, with a whole, like, landmass. Its own landmass. You get impact, this may hurt. Yeah, you look at Bisharp. Like, again, Bisharp's, like, one of those few mon- Like, I have a- I have a few mons that I like from Gen 5. Like, Bisharp is definitely one of them. Look at it. Come on. You look at Braviary. Like, again, I mean, uh, understandable. It looks- it's just, like, kind of a normal-looking bird. 
but like, it's kind of cool looking if you ask me. Ace Rayquaza is gonna scare me deathless. All right, Dragon Pulse still does a lot of damage. Um, I don't think you can hit me with anything hard. Extreme see, that's adorable. All righty, we're gonna heal up real quick, like. But yeah, so I mean, that's my little small rant for this video. I think I have like some kind of small rant in every one of my videos, but and I apologize deeply for it. That hurt. Wow. All right. But yeah, so. Those are, that's my uh, quote of the day. Wow, a Salamence, I can't wait. Okay, you may have EQ. You're gonna have Outrage. Mm, can Clint eat an EQ from a Salamence? That's probably gonna be like 10 levels higher. Probably not. Can you eat an Outrage from him? Probably not. Clintet, you're my really only choice and I'm gonna apologize now to Clint because it's probably gonna die. Rockside. Dragon Claw? All right. Okay. I'll take it. Wow, of course. All right. Crunch? Okay. I'll take it. Rockside, thank you for him hitting. And you did nothing. The one thing I hate about Clintet is the fact that he has no good moves. I wish, I wish that water types, I wish more water types learned ice type moves. Because, like, it only makes sense. Like, come on, you're a water type and you can't make ice, like, fight level up. Like, come on, my dude. Can I get a pair, or like, some kind of pair axe? That's gonna... I don't know, like, did I rock side instead of secret power? I meant to secret power, but... Like, we've been hit by a lot of crits in this game, it feels like. It feels like we've had a lot of... Oh, okay, yeah, no, alright. I didn't mean to run. I'm gonna skedaddle out into Clintet again. Thank you for the good time. I'm gonna heal up and then uh okay double edge i'll take it I'll take it hit with the recoil all right go for the secret power there we go all right perfect man yeah, so i should probably at some point try to find um ice beam which i feel like is in the stupid um the stupid little thing the game corner so that'll be a pain in the ass to go back to. I can't avoid any of these trainers. And, like, their mods just keep getting scarier and scarier, so. I'm throwing the EXP share on somebody. Um, just because, like, we need it. We need an EXP share at this point in the game. Alright. Okay. Can we, uh, swab blue? Alright. Um, you've got Brave Bird, I think. So, I'm gonna go into checkmate real quick. Thank you. You got Cotton Guard, alright. Can't wait to see how much damage I do now. Why? Alright. Why do you have Moonblast? Night Slash again. Alright, well. We're gonna leave now. Alright. Jump Pluff, alright. Um. Freedom. I'm gonna fly. Worry seed, okay. Memento, alright. Why is everything on Memento? Craniodose, we're switching out into Clintet. Go for a surf. Go for a surf. There we go. Perfect. Cool, alright. Can we get to like dry land soon, please? Don't make me fight any more trainers, please. Okay, um... Ah, oh, great, he's here. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna heal up with this chick. Please. Please don't make me... Alright. Cool. Wait, hold on. Travel, what do you want? Okay. Um, in that case, we're gonna end the episode here and I guess take on, uh... What's her name? Artemis, I believe? Next episode, so... If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash that like button if you want to see more. Make sure you subscribe and get positive right in that PC party. Share with your friends, homie, and Twitter at PC Bloodmaster. Join the Discord link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am PC Bloodmaster, and I will see you guys next time.